Welcome everybody today to my presentation at Automation Works Training Academy. My name is Ronaldo Kleinhans and this is my first year and first term. Now my my, um, pro my project's name is a Magnetic Water Flow Sensor and my motivation for designing my project is sometimes we have to walk long distances to check on windmills to see if the water is flowing through the pipe and if it's pumping. Now I, just, um, I came up with the idea then to, to design a make a design that so I can see if, there, if there's water flowing through the pipes. That's my motivation. My problem statement is designing and building an effective impeller that uses the flow of water that generates electricity that powers a laser to communicate that water is flowing through pipes in difficult places. My project background research. To be honest, I did a lot of research on, on all types of pumps. All the, small, the smallest ones to the biggest ones, the output and input, as well as the, the impellers, the blades, the shape of the blades, as well as all types of magnets. You see which magnets, I also use magnets, just to clarify, I use magnets for my design as well. So I also did a lot of research on all shapes and sizes of magnets, as well as the strength of them. And I also did research on a, quite a lot of lasers to see where, which one will work um, as well as um, I also did the research on the lasers for the distance to see which one will fit my design um, perfectly. Okay, now I'll go over my design sketches, my bill of materials, my project mo structure model, as well as some 3D printed that I took. Now this is my design sketch, my hand sketch that I started with. Before I did anything of my design project, I started with it. Now this is the windmill. The pump, the bore, the bore hole of the windmill. The, now this is the pipe. The windmill, the water comes out of the hole, goes through the pump at the windmill, through the pipe up the hill into the tank up here. Now at first I just, at first I thought of putting a laser on the windmill here and a motor on the axle of the windmill, so that generates electricity to, to make the wind uh, the laser shine. But that still wouldn't solve my problem of to seeing if there's water flowing through the pipe. So I just so Nick actually gave me a little bit of um, idea of trying to use a valve, a sensor, and making a smart switch, but <laughs> that proved a little difficult. So I decided to. Um, I also got a little idea, a little heads up. So I just decided to make a magnetic water flow sensor. So it's a casing with an impeller in the in the middle, and then the, if the, as the water flows through, the impeller turns, and then at the back there's a motor. Which also turns and then generates electricity that sends the and it sends the electricity to the laser of the on the windmill and then the laser automatically signs uh, to the uh, um, so if you look to the windmill and the and the wind, and the laser is shining that means water is flowing through the pipes to, to the tanks and if it isn't shining and the wind is blowing then you have a problem. Okay, this is how my this is how my design look. Here's the Ad out adapter, the outlet adapter and the inlet adapter. Here's my motor casing, as you see the impeller on the inside. At the back is the motor. And then, yeah, you won't be able to see it, but there's, I'll show you later. At the end of my of our presentation, I'll show you the parts. Here's a few sketches. My motor casing, my impeller. Here's my, here's my motor and my uh, motor with magnet motor wheel. See, here's also a few pictures. And my pro <laughs> problems with testing is, I t when I st first started testing it, um, the water, I tested it with a firehouse, but the pressure of the firehouse um, was very low, so yeah, there wasn't a lot of pressure to make the propeller spin enough to um, generate enough electricity, so yeah, I, so I couldn't make the propeller turn. So I did the, that's, okay. Now, my project structure model for the magnetic water flow sensor. Now there are four basic parts of my um, design, which is the impeller casing, the motor casing, the laser, and the pipes. Now under the impeller casing, there is the impeller, the front mount, and the inlet adapter, as well as the outlet adapter. Then under the motor casing, there is the motor plate, the motor, as well as the motor cover. And under the laser, there is the electrical cables, 
Okay, my technical difficulties. I had difficulty, I had a lot of difficulty cutting the fair spec for my front plate of my design project. Yeah, because we didn't have the right um, machinery to cut the fair spec. I also had trouble um, designing my casing, the outlet adapter of my casing, like to make to seal it. That was that also proved the difficult as well as printing some of the stuff. I I did notice that you have to change the sizes in, in on your laptop to make it in reality the right size as well. That also proved difficult. Okay, my technical technical successes. I was successful in solving my problem with my inlet and outlet adapter by adding O-rings to it as well as making the shape shape rounder so that it, so that it seals better. As well as um, changing the impeller, I made the impeller a little bigger so, it, so that it, there's not a lot of space for the water to go past the, the plates. Okay, my <laughs> lessons that I learned. I learned to measure three times and print once. To um, ask for help if, when I do not know what to do. <laughs> to think about the questions people ask me before I answer them. As well as uh, to focus more on what I'm doing and to enjoy what I love to do. Now, this is my bullet material. Description, 3D printing, stainless steel motor mount, perspex front cover, bolts, nuts, washers, screws, o-rings, lasers, and motors. Now my total amount came out to 547 rand and 47 cents. Okay, this is just my reference of some of the links that I watched on YouTube. Okay, my work is to do. 89% of the work was done by me, myself, and then 11% of the work was done by me. He helped me with um, some of the soldering and the technical electrical stuff, testing to see if the output of the motor is right, as well as the pressure of the water, to make it sure that the pressure isn't stronger than the wind was or weaker. This is my activity log. You can just, you can say this is how I spent my time of this term. Now, as you can see here, <laughs> This red spot is the biggest part here, which is our tutorial project. And we had to, when we came here, we first learned a few basic things of the computer, and then we um, had, we got a, a car jet that we needed to dissemble and um, draw on our laptop, like an like a actual sketch. And this is <laughs> the tutorial project that this took up the most time. Then there's the theory, which is the stuff we, videos and stuff we watched, and then we had to do, um, write down stuff of it so that we can remember it, like stuff to fall back on. And then the next one part that took up the most time is my design project. Yeah, it took a lot of time, but not that much, as much as I expected it would. And then the secondly is the PPD, personal and professional development, which is what the weapon JC helped us with. That is our critical thinking as well as improving our shell to how to um, speak more um, freely how to interact with other people in big crowds as well. And then our a, the AB stands, stands for Automation Works, which is when we go out on trips to other schools, the presentations and stuff at other schools, show um, designs and projects as well. And then the PE stands for Personal Education, which is when we work with the guys next door, like Beatrice and David, so, which I just want to thank. <laughs> And this is my poster of my magnetic water flow sensor. As you will see up there at the wall is also a poster of it. And my demonstration, I'll just quickly show you a demonstration of how it works. See, now you can see the water is flowing through, making the impeller turn and then going out at the inlet at the outlet of that way. You see, flowing in. Going, making the impeller spin and then going out at the um, outlet at the outlet. Do you want to watch it again? Okay. Well, there is another video. Second demonstration to make to show you that there is an output. You see there, there I'm not sure if you're able to see, but there's the motor and the laser that I put on the back. I'll just give it a second. 
as you see there, the laser is shining. It's a little, the shine is a little sharp, so you can't see it um, very clearly. You want to watch it again? Okay. Thank you all for coming and listening to my presentations. <laughs> I really enjoy and appreciate you all for coming. Now, if you have any questions for me. Can I answer a few in the yeah. comments? As I can tell you, you can select the you can basically buy a black one. You say no, you get a pump with the smart streets of new ice in it. And you get the other people from pump and you work hard and think you're not going to But you think self and then you work, but you pump self work and then you get a little magnetic water flow sensor pops it. But then it ice can't do this kind of thing. You can't see if you work hard and water pump by your ice. Or so that water from the tank and other things to pump. That's that's and that's why I have the uses for this. Can I have another question? Yeah, I was going to ask you to ask me 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 Sorry for that. My apologies. And here is the casing, which is I only put it in half part of it. Yeah. So this is this is the back side, which is the side, and then this is the impeller. It comes on the inside. And you see that magnets on it on the ins on it. And this is the magnetic motor wheel that sits in this casing right here on the motor. So as the impeller, as the water flows through and the impeller turns, with the same magnetic flow force, does the magnetic wheel as well turn, which makes the motor turn and then generates electricity. <laughs> Iets wat pijn. Die magneten, wat die hele kruis van die historie is om te wijzen dat van die hoeveel dat die motor niet gaat werken. Yeah, what what was the purpose of doing it that way? Yeah, yeah the purpose of we're doing it this way so that the water doesn't come to the source to the yeah. motor. Water yeah. zijn zo ja. En dan mijn tweede vraag met zo laatste is waarom een lijn? Well, um, ek, ek het op eerst gedink aan om net een gewone licht te vat, maar die ding is, dit moet in die dag ook kachts noor. Nou, rooie licht sal ook werk in die, lag, in die dag, maar um, as jy nou naar bulbs toe gaan, ek het een klein LED licht sal, hy sal, hy is klein, hy is klein LED licht, maar um, hoe groter jy van afwissing om groot gaan, vir die, pur, vir die purpose wat ek om gemaak het, vir die wat aan ek gewerk het, is een lijn werk, een lijn beter. Want die, a laser kan jy as jy van ver af kyk en jy in hom kan kyk en dan kan jy sien hy is kyk. Maar die distance van die huis tot by die wind kom, is amper kemp en amper kilometer. So, um, die, dit is so'n bykie bosser, so die lichte, die rooie licht is so'n bykie, dit werk lekker, um, die lichte werk lekker as jy dit gebruik vir, um, is die, is die, is die laser sig waar op die hart van? Ja. Um, ek het, um, I have a question. Uh, you said you did a lot of research on pumps. Uh, did you do? Uh, did you look into um, thir- uh, some existing turbine pump? Uh, no. Okay. Only did I only did research on types of water pumps as well as um, almost pumps. That's almost like um, the purpose are close to this one, but not exactly the same. Well, as well as fisting pump. Right. Yeah, I'm 
Oh, it's like going very slow, but it's still shy.